What's going on, everyone? <laughs> now, right off the bat, I'm sure you're very confused what's going on. But uh, yeah, this title is not clickbait. We're going to be playing Sea of Thieves on the phone. So here we are. Let's get into it. Now, first of all, I'm just going to blow everyone's mind and just completely skip it through there. Um, now, there's going to be a little bit of latency on this little screen here as opposed to what you're going to see just down below right there. Because I couldn't fix it as much as I wanted to. And also, if you're wondering why things are going to be happening like that and I'm not using the screen is because I'm currently running a wireless Xbox controller through it. Now, I get this video seems just a little bit ghetto, but I'm sorry, this is the best I can do. If you would like to see more, though, I'll definitely do it. Um, if not, let me know. And yeah, how about we just get straight into it? Just for more proof that this is actually on the phone, and I'm not just faking it. If I scroll down, there is a cool little thing I can do. Um, I'm not sure what more proof you can have, aside from the fact that it is a phone. It is actually a um, an iPhone uh, 10X Max or X Max, whatever the one before this current one is. So yeah, I think this works on any phone, but just for this video, we're going to be using my iPhone. So essentially, this is one of the coolest things that I've seen in a long time. I do want to take the time to uh, talk about some of the uh, technical side of this whole video and what sort of is required to make this type of thing. But again, just because I only want to showcase Sea of Thieves on the phone, I'm not going to do anything too insane. So you're not going to see the usual stuff I make. It, we're literally just going to go do a Gold Hoarders mission because I just want to make this real quick and simple and just show you guys the basics without wasting too many people's time. So essentially what's going on behind the scenes is the way I'm recording this is I'm using one of the most dodgiest webcams I know of, which is sadly the only one I own, to record my phone. And I'm recording the Xbox right through OBS, which is on my computer. And this whole thing is pretty much being recorded as one video with my um, my mic overlaid on top. Again, this is a very, very, very ghetto-y version of what I'm trying to accomplish. But as I said, it's really all I can do as of right now. And as I mentioned earlier, the way I can control everything without having to touch the screen like this, you know, is by using a um, an Xbox One controller, one of the newer ones that have a wireless adaption. Uh, Bluetooth adaption, sorry, not wireless. I made a big mistake, and I just realized we're going to have to go across the other side of the map. That's going to be very fun. It was Cannon Cove, right? No, it was Crook Solo. Okay, I'm good, I swear. Now, it's kind of part and parcel that if you look in the top left-hand side of the screen, you notice if I do something too intensive, it lags a little bit and just screen tears. That is, unfortunately, part of uh, this whole thing. You can't really do much about that as of right now. I'm sure if you had a little bit more of a, uh, a faster phone and a slightly more stable internet connection than what I have, it maybe wouldn't be as bad. Although, um, I believe, considering we're playing a game fully on the phone that's literally just being broadcasted on the Xbox, I think this is a really, really great step forward. So I found the overall quality on the phone really isn't bad. I mean, if you were using a phone that had slightly better graphics and slightly better power than the iPhone uh, Max, I believe you'd get a better result. But at the moment, I'm really only working with what I have. Unfortunately, I don't have anything better than what it is. Um, yeah, I mean, I do agree. It's quite screen Terry at the moment. There's no real practical reason as to why you'd want to do this. But I mean, let's be honest, it's really fun. The fact that I can play a Xbox game entirely on my phone is just so amazing and I'm so happy with the era that we live in because, I mean, you flash back even five, four years ago, this wouldn't have been possible. I'm sure the idea would have been in people's heads, but the whole idea of what we're doing now just would not have been possible. I've sort of worked out the way to stop screen tears so much is just by, um, like, taking it real slow. For example, if I do stuff like this, you notice it's going to kind of screen tear just a little bit. But if I do it on my controller at the exact same speed, uh, it gets a lot more buggy. Now, I don't know if this has got anything to do with just the uh, Xbox or the phone end, but I know that there definitely needs to be some adaptions that you'll need to make if you do plan on using this viably. Now, yeah, you can essentially run this whole game just through the phone. Like, you don't need a controller to run it with. But I've found that the uh, controllers are overly sensitive. Like, the slightest movement of your thumb is going to send you on a complete 360. That was something I could never get used to, so I just found it to be a lot easier to pull out my controller and give it a go. Like, as you can see, right, if I move the analog stick, this is very slight turns, but if I was to head over to the uh, phone right here and do that, you can see it does full turns really quickly. Now, I'm not sure if I explained it earlier, but the latency that I'm facing, like, between uh, the main screen and the side screen, is entirely on the capture device. It's not on the Xbox at all. 
As far as syncing the Xbox with the phone, it's all literally in perfect timing. There's no latency whatsoever. Like, I'm looking at my Xbox and it's reacting the same time as my phone. Obviously, the phone is a lot more teary than the Xbox, but again, that's just probably to be expected. So when you factor everything in, um, I mean, aside from the fact that it's very, very buggy and quite dark, well, a lot darker than it should be, um, the graphics that you'll find on your phone really aren't too bad. Again, it's nothing even close when you compare it to that of a PC or even uh, one of the earlier Xboxes. But if you just want to mess around and do a couple quests on your phone, or say if the Xbox is out of reach because it's uh, past the bedtime or something, I don't recommend playing it on your phone, but it's honestly entirely possible. <laughs> so uh, my plans have sort of changed since we last checked in. Originally I was going to do the mission, but then I seen a ship just parked ever so peacefully up against an island. I think we're going to take him on. Uh, now would be a good time to disclaim that every little bit of combat you're about to see is being done on a phone. <laughs> um, I'm not having high hopes for this. Not at all. If I can get on there, hit a few cannon shots and sink him, then wow, I'd be so happy. But, you know what? I don't know if it's going to be possible. But since it is a pirate game, the pirate life is for me. Let's hit him with some fireballs. I don't know what they were trying to do, but... You know what, we'll probably tell them for trying, right? If I don't die instantly, I'm going to be surprised and slightly concerned. Okay, that was a miss. The fact that I haven't died yet is surprising. It's very, very surprising. Oh, okay, you're dead. Okay. <laughs> this is going a lot better than I thought. Um, this is so screen Terry, it's not funny. Um, I don't like cannibals, bro, because I'm going to steal them all. I completely ruin your ship. Oh, at this point, I'm not expecting to sink it. Okay, that guy's not bad. Well, I didn't manage to sink him, but... I mean, I'm not complaining with the effort that he put Yeah, That was pretty intense. This is a complete win. Oh, I've been cracked. Right. I think. No, yes, I've been cracking. Okay. Journey doesn't want me to win. I don't think I'll ever make another video on um, the mobile version of Sea of Thieves again. But I don't know. Maybe if this video gets enough support, I'll give it a go. So, um, if we can get a few hundred likes in this video, then sure. I'll go ahead and do another one. Um, yeah, I'm going to run out of cannibals before I can sink this crack. Surely. 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 That loot can stand out, I don't want it. Oh! This is absurd. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. This was just a very, very short video that I wanted to do. Um, again, as I mentioned, if you want to see me do more videos on this, let me know. And with that being said, thank you all for watching. Don't ever play this game on mobile, and I'll see you all in the next video. Hi everyone, uh, I know the video was meant to end, but I'm just recording this after I've made it and edited it. I just wanted to give a bit more clarification on my opinion of playing it on mobile and whether or not it's worth it. So if you just want to jump on mobile and play this game for the sake of it, sure, it's worth it for that reason. But if you're trying to look at this as a viable way to play Sea of Thieves, just completely forget about it. And because this is relatively new technology, it's still almost in a beta stage. I mean, I know the final product's out, but it's definitely not strong enough to call it its final form, I don't believe. 
And again, if this video does get enough support and you want to see how it's done, I will make a video on how to do this. But I do warn you, it does cost a little bit of money. It's not much, but uh, you do have to buy a third party program to get this to work. Now, because it is a third party program, I'm sure you may have some doubts and suspicions, but I can honestly say this program has worked fine for me and I was just like you when I started. I was quite suspicious about this. But anyway, if you do want to see that, let me know. And yeah, as I said, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you all in the next one.